What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Trevin, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through, I think, one, Route 104, 5, and 6, I think? I would like to say so. And we made it all the way here to Dufort Town. Of course, we are talking about our side quest. Now, I kind of thought about it, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it, because uh, that's, that's the main reason why I took a nice pause from Omega Ruby. Uh, to train up my Pokemon, to collect the Pokemon teams that I had in the past walkthroughs and all that stuff. So, what I did right here, I'm going to make it a little more interesting. I did put in two uh, two familiar faces from the last uh, Pokemon walkthrough that I had right here in Hoenn, and that is Ome or Emerald. And I, well, as you can see, I added Trumli, the Breloom, and uh, not this guy right here. That's right, Swamp Lord, the Swamper. And... Well, we're going to be traveling right here. This is for the just this episode right here. Like I said, guys, you're going to be seeing a few familiar faces, old faces, new faces, and all that stuff. And then once uh, things start getting serious, yes, you guys will start seeing my regular team uh, tickets uh, shape and all that crud. So here we are in Route 107, and here we have a person waiting for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to be doing our Pokemon debut of Pokemon, or our Pokemon Omega Ruby debut of Shroom Lee. I think it's not a debut. I think I, yeah, in the last uh, two episodes, I think I told you guys about uh, having to switch out a few Pokemon for different abilities and all that stuff. And I think Shroomly happened to be one of them because it did have a, a particular move that I liked, and that was Drain Punch. Yeah, how does a Shroomish get a Drain Punch attack? I don't know. It doesn't have any arms. Why don't you ask the Pokemon? So here it is, Shroomly versus the Pelipper, and right off the bat, I do have... Uh, a slight disadvantage because of its flying capabilities but look at that it is super powerful so we're, we're gonna go again with another headbutt and uh, there's that protect what the hell man come on you need a faint you do need to faint so here we go headbutt attack takes care of that alrighty okay so no more Pelipper right there and Shroomly grows to level 36 that's right Level 36 in this episode right here, and Raiden grows to level 34, and we defeat Beth. That's awesome right there. Now, another thing that I did on screen was I, I was training a lot of my Pokemon, mainly because I don't want to be prepared for the second half of this whole thing. Granted that I already got, I already have six badges, or five badges and all that crud. And we're going to be going into the eastern coast of, the, of Hoenn pretty soon here. Now, crossing to the eastern uh, portion of Hoenn, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on, like Mega Evolution, Legendary Pokemon, Gattaca, that kind of stuff. So, I kind of want to be prepared with any kind of situation. So, as you can see, we're going to be battling another Pokemon trainer right here, and let's go with a Discharge. Oh, yes. Raiden is uh, kicking ass, taking names, everything, vice versa and whatnot. Look at that. Raiden kicking ass. Oh, yes. And here she comes out with the Wilmer. So I'm going to stay put. And uh, let's take care of business again with another Discharge. Now, I kind of should have killed my Pokemon off screen, but I didn't. Yeah, I kind of went straight for the uh, the regular Pokemon that I had. Alrighty. Look at that. And my Pokemon growing levels. Desert Storm growing to level 28. Believe it or not, guys, Desert Storm is a Pokemon that I've been wanting to use on some walkthrough just never had the chance to mainly because uh what was it i think i found a, a better pokemon or i kind of shaped my team around uh mud or no swamp swamp lord right here so let's go ahead and battle this guy yawn i must have drifted off uh, to sleep while i was drifting in the waves probably were you sicko here we go going up against darren and he's gonna come out with his barboach 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 i don't even know how to pronounce that name but it is cool so here we go. I'm going to do the same thing as always. Mega Drain. Oh yes. Now I have been I have been asked, will I be am I is there something uh, special that I'm going to be doing with all my Pokémon teams here in Oraz? Uh, yeah. Kind of like a series, kind of like, you know, breeding them, getting them all prepared, winning the Pokémon League multiple multiple times and all that crud. You know, that kind of stuff. And plus, it's cool to actually have your old teams right here in one game. And, well, it's, uh, well, again, Pokemon Oraz, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, easy games to actually train your Pokemon. 
So here we go. Fluff Blade and Shroom Lee ready to take on Corfish and Goldeen. So let's go with a Mega Drain on there. And let's go with a Dragon Breath onto that one right there. Look at that. It has Bad Breath and Dragon Breath for the win. Oh, yes. And here we go with another Mega Drain. And then that takes care of Corfish right there. Alrighty. Okay. And look at that. Fluff Blade grows to level 37. Very good, very, very good leveling. And, uh, well, here we go with a flail attack. And that could uh, not do much. So let's go right ahead and, uh, you know, let's just shits and giggles. Let's go with Drain Punch. And let's finish it off with an Aerial Ace. Here we go. Aerial Ace for the win. Suck it, Goldeen. Look at that. Look at that. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. We kicked ass. Hell yes. Okay, so let's move on right here. I haven't used Swamp Lord just about. I haven't used it much, but, you know, he will be used eventually. So here we go. Swimmer Tony wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Tentacool. Not so cool, but Tentacool. And here we go with Shroomly. Alrighty, Shroomly, you know what to do. Let's go with the Headbutt attack. Now, some wide variety of things that I want to do for this game. I just. Yeah, like, man, I want to do it all at once, but I know eventually this pandemic's going to end and, you know, I won't have a lot of time to do what I want to do, so I'm just going to take advantage of what I have right now. And if you guys take a notice right here in this big old square, you can actually dive under this place, and it will actually take you, I think, behind here to grab an item. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm right or not, but yeah, that's definitely a place that you're actually going to be seeing... Uh, later on right here and uh, well here we are in route 108 first time ever and let's see yes it's just telling you route 108 to route 109 this is definitely a place that we've been uh, well, we we passed by but we haven't said that we, we officially been to in quite some time and we are very very close to a place a location that you know we're gonna be checking out pretty soon right here and well let's go right ahead and Let's go right ahead and uh, switch out our Pokemon right here. Now it is time to use Swamp Lord. Kind of want to use him for quite some time. All right, let's bring it. Let's see what this guy says. My dream is to swim the world seven seas. Okay, alrighty. He's a dreamer. So here he comes out with a Jerome. I, I mean, a Tentacool. And I do have the Pokemon for the job. Right, here we go. Welcome back, Swamp Lord. Man, it's been a while since I've seen you. So let's go with the Mud Bomb. And why didn't I train my Pokemon just a little bit further? Well, I don't want to get it to be stronger than my original Pokemon right now. Kind of not. And here he comes. He's going to be coming out with a Pelipper. So I'm going to stay put right here with Swamp Lord. It needs some loving. It's been a while since it needs some loving. So let's go with a Rock Slide. And, of course, using Protect like a dick. God dang it. All right, let's go again. Rock slide. Oh, yes. Look at that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Fuck yeah. All righty. Okay, all righty. And we defeated Jerome Bettis right here. And, uh, well, now we're going to be moving on to the next best thing. Another Pokemon trainer. That's exactly what we're going to be doing right here, guys. We're just going to be battling everybody until we get strong enough and whatnot. And here we go with Swimmer Missy, and she is coming out with her Wingles. I got the right Pokemon for this. Oh, yes. Swamp Lord. Man, it's been a while. Now, if I were to have a... If I were to have a Blaziken, what would I nickname it? I do not know. Now, if... To be honest with you guys, to be honest with you guys, if I would have done this whole walkthrough way back when, when it first started, if I was on time, or if I was with the times and all that crud, best believe that things would have been a little bit different. I would have gotten myself a shiny Beldum, because that's one of the things that they offered through Mystery Gift. And, yeah, yeah I would have been on top of the whole Mystery Pokemon, Mystery Gift Pokemon, Legendary Pokemon, but I think now they don't really offer them anymore for 3DS, so... Yeah, that's my bad. My bad. I'm always late. Always freaking late to the party right here. But luckily, I did change it up for my channel, so it's doing it's doing very, very well. I mean, we're really close to 7,000 subscribers. Last time I checked, it was 6,850. 
at this point right here, at April 28th. So I would like to thank you guys for, yeah, like for for uh, subscribing to me, watching my videos, not thinking that I'm annoying and all that crud, that kind of stuff. I'm glad to be a part of your day, even though you guys are maybe bored with the whole pandemic and crud. And, well, here he comes out with a Whalmer, so let's go with a Discharge right here. Let's discharge this splooge of electricity right here. Bam! Wilmer defeated. Fatality. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, raiding, kicking ass, taking names. And if you guys are wondering, do I have Noob Saibot? Yes, I do. I did trade for that Pokemon, by the way. So some of these Pokemon that I've gotten, traded from different games, all that crud, uh, they might grow faster than others. It's that kind of stuff right there, but... You know, it's still the same Pokemon that I've used in previous uh, iterations right here. So, here we go. My liar of a boyfriend told me that I can look great in a bikini. Wow. You do. You look great in a bikini. Who's your boyfriend? I want to punch him. I want to punch him. I want to... Yeah, never mind. So, here we go. We're going to go with Fluff Blade and Fluff Blade. Let's go with Aerial Ace right here. And here comes that Aerial Ace. Bam. That's right, and here he we come with a Brine attack. Now, I want to know what Brine... Well, I know what Brine is in a, another context, but what is Brine right here? Do not know. I'm probably going to go onto the uh, internet to, 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 to figure that out. And look at that. Fuck yeah. Defeated you. Fluff Blade. Dominant as always. Now, please tell me the name of that boyfriend of yours so I can beat him up. Even if it's a lie, I love being told I look great. We girls are so complex. Yep, that is a... Uh, that is not a lie. That is not a lie. Trust me. Uh, with the experience that good old Draven has, yeah, that is not a lie. So let's go right ahead and move on right here. And see what else we could find. Let's see. Okay, so yes, we are getting close to the area that we need to be. So let's go right ahead and uh, take a look at this place. As you guys probably already know, this is Sea Mauville. Uh, this used to be called the Abandoned Ship. But I guess in this game now, they, they added quite a few things. And I guess Mauville is not enough. So you got New Mauville and then Sea Mauville. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and beat this guy right here. He's going to be waiting for us. Oh, it's a little kid. What the hell? Stop moving around. Stop moving. Hey, I'm talking to you. All right. I need my attention. I take my inner tube with me everywhere. All righty. Here we go. Going up against Tuber Charlie, and he will be coming out with his Corphish. Look at that Corphish. Looking all mean and everything. But here comes Fluff Blade. I wonder what... Okay, so I wonder what a real Fluff Blade would look like. Would it look like a blade that looks like Fluff, or a blade that... Or a Fluff that looks like a blade? I kind of want to know. Comment down below, guys. So here we go. Dragon Breath. Let's get this. Dragon Breath. Stinky breath of the year and nope didn't kill him but here comes that night nice slash attack and well let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with a little bit of an aerial ace look at that eat it fatality oh yes okay so that's that and desert storm growing to level 29 and it's learning faint yeah don't want to teach it that no so we defeated Tuber Charlie, and yes, I overwhelmed you, kicked your butt, totally kicked your butt. Alrighty, so let's see, we got another person right here. Let's see what he has to say. Oh wow, observe the harmony between nature and the constructed elements. This is pretty neat, isn't it? it yeah, it is. I guess it is. Okay, so here we go. Buff Bagwell Sailor Duncan wants the battle, and he is coming with his Whalmer right here. All right. You little slit of a Pokemon, I will defeat you with my bare hands. So let's go, Dragon Breath for the win. That's right, Stinky Breath, number one. And Wilmer, of course, survives this and it's using Mist. Don't know why Mist would actually work right here. So let's go, take it down. That's right, take down attack. Oh yes. Take down attack for the win. Oh yeah, and well, everybody's getting hit with recoil, so Swamp Lord grows to level 39 and it's learning muddy water. Yes, it's a better, I guess it's a better, uh, actually it's a water type move. Holy crud, I didn't even know that, hold on. Muddy, mud bomb, okay, so I'm taking a look at this muddy water. 
Okay, well, I guess I could go with Mud Bomb and Muddy Water, but I don't know why it would be a Water-type attack. That's what I want to know. And look at that. Shroom League grows to level 37, and here he comes out with a Machoke. I'm going to stay put, and I'm going to kick his butt with a Fluff Blade. All right, Fluff Blade. Let's go. Fluff Blade. Let's go. Aerial Ace. Attack for the win. That's right. Oh, my God. This Machoke is strong, and here comes... One of its attack right there. Not super effective, but here we go. Let's get this aerial ace attack. For the win! Suck it, Macho! Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. And look at that. Sailor Duncan has been defeated. Yes, I am pretty neat. Kicking butt, taking names, and all that stuff. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stop right here, guys, in the next episode. We're gonna be going into Sea Marvel and then finishing off this whole route right here. And then after that, we might do another mystery house. Here and there. I don't even know. I need to check on Bobopedia. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.